This episode of Film Rags is brought to you by Fresh Books. Day fresh to death. Sup with it. Sup with you. Sup with that booty. Sup with that booty. Uh, twerk, twerk, twerk. Twerk it out. Twerk out. <laughs> How's that? It's good. Awesome. I think we should move on. Cool. Tips on shooting a fight scene in a wide shot without too much of them quick cuts. I don't want punches to feel soft or too held back. Oh, and Ryan, you howl it. The main thing with that is finding people who know how to fight. If you could work with the stunt team, obviously that's preferred. If not, maybe find people locally who do some kind of martial arts who really know how to fight and know how to control their body so they can spar off with each other and really go after it without anyone getting hurt because these people do it all the time. They're trained to do it. If you get somebody who doesn't know how to fight at all and doesn't have that physicality there, you're not gonna be able to do it. You're really gonna need to do them quick cuts to try to hide the fact that they can't fight to make it convincing. So if you do want that wide shot, the number one most important thing is get people who actually know how to fight and can pull that sort of thing off. You also need people who are in shape because if you really wanna show a wide shot of this fight going on, you're gonna to wanna to do multiple takes and these people are gonna run out of steam very, very quickly. I mean, professionals even do, so you have to keep that in mind as well. And then a big part of it, which I learned recently from a stunt coordinator that I worked with, is big movements. Don't keep things tight in, but flail out a lot because even if it's going slow, if it's coming out further, it feels faster, it feels more intense, and then always making sure, even between punches, that they keep energy and they're you know, moving their body around, and that all translates to speed and intensity into the image. So it's all those things combined, I think, with the number one most important is get people who actually can fight. Could you write a story around a theme or a setting, or should the theme and setting always be made to fit around the story? I personally would never write a story around a setting. Uh, theme can turn into story. Theme is very important. Usually I come up with what my story is and then I start working theme into it. Sometimes I have a theme that I want to talk about and that gives me an idea for a story. So I think those can go back and forth, but setting shouldn't matter. The setting should be dictated by the story. You have your story that you want to tell and of course it happens here. Uh, for me, starting with the setting doesn't really make a ton of sense unless it's a setting that you know there's a story there. There's these you know, tanks, specific tankers that have this very interesting thing about them and oh man, there's a story there. But then you figure out the story that takes place in that setting and the setting stops mattering as much and it becomes all about the story but you know where it's taking place because every with anything that you do, story really should be king. I mean, we do these quick one, two, three minute things on YouTube, sure, fine. Those aren't really big stories, those are just moments. But if you're gonna do anything prolonged, for me, anything above 10 minutes, story really needs to be king in that because I think, I mean, even past five minutes, uh, once you don't really have a story there, it's really hard to you know keep an audience's attention. Any movie that is fantastic, any action movie that is really exciting, has some of the best action you've ever seen, it's not so much the action moments, but the story wrapper around it that makes the action moments really stand out so much. Without that great story, the action would just been like, oh, okay, stuff's happening. And if you really look at films where the action was amazing and you're thinking, why aren't I as invested as I should be? Well, it's just because the story doesn't have you there to where you can be invested in that action moment. It's just fireworks. The fireworks are pretty and all, but they're not gonna get you invested in that way. So no matter what you do, story should absolutely be at the forefront of what you're thinking. How would you go about developing a directing style? If I have one, I don't know what it is, and it just developed from me making the things I wanted to make. We each have our own specific voice. So if you're not actively on purpose trying to be someone else, I think you're gonna become the filmmaker you're going to become. We all have our influences, and I definitely see my influences in my stuff. I'm not purposefully trying to look like those influences, but it does end up finding its way in there. But all of the greats have that. Spielberg has influences of people that came before him in there for sure. Uh, so I think if you are just not trying to copy anybody, you're just you're trying to be original and you're, you're just trying to make the things that you like and what you wanna make and exploring those things, over time I think you're gonna find a style uh, for you, but I don't even think you'll be able to tell what your style is. I can't. I don't know what my style is. Last question. What's the most complicated film you have ever made? I think probably Tell, uh, but 
I mean, that was made a long time ago and I've advanced since then, so I don't know if it would still be the most complicated, but there was a lot of thematic things I was trying to do there, balanced with sort of the scary and trying to get an audience to be on board and follow this monster uh, was a scary thing that I didn't know if it was going to work or not, um, which thankfully I think it did, people seemed to like it. Uh, but the, the different spinning wheels that were happening there behind the scenes to make what I wanted to happen work the way it hopefully worked was a little complicated for me, I think, especially that slow burning sort of suspense film where everything's very slowly paced and just building little by little. It's a very nerve wracking thing to do. If you have people punching each other in the face, it's like, oh yeah, this is gonna be cool. It's fast paced and people are just punching each other. That's awesome. But if you're spending, you know, two minutes slowly moving towards something, it's a little scary wondering if that's going to work or not and keeping the ideas in your mind of why that's gonna work and what's happening with the character and the music and the pacing that's going to make the audience really lock into this moment, feel fear, hopefully, and uh, those, those punctuated points hit the way you want them to. Uh, for me, there was a lot of thinking and theory that went behind all of it, so it was, a, it was, it was complicated. Spring is almost here, and if you are someone who struggles with tax stuff, like me, listen up. Our friends at FreshBooks have created ridiculously simple cloud accounting software that helps service-based small business owners get a handle on their paperwork. FreshBooks keeps all the cash flow details in one place so you know exactly what invoices you sent, who has paid you what, and what your income is. Their mobile app lets you take pictures of your receipts and organize them for later, which makes claiming expenses at tax time a breeze. You'll be so much more prepared and way less stressed, and right now, FreshBooks is offering a 30-day free trial. Just go to FreshBooks dot com forward slash film riot and enter film riot in the how did you hear about us section logo so that's it for today which means it's time for my suggestion of the week this one comes from one perfect shot on their website one of their posts is an in-depth look at the making of taxi driver they posted all the making of videos in a row i think it's like eight parts nine parts something like that but it's a really great in-depth look at the making of taxi driver which you can find right here it is awesome definitely check it out and until next time don't forget to write shoot edit repeat